Hello everyone, this is R.S. Miller at TheEndTimeNews.org and today is August 29th, 2013. This is your Fast Track Report. Russia to deploy additional warships to the eastern Mediterranean Sea amid growing tensions due to a possible U.S.-led strike on Syria over its alleged use of chemical weapons last week on civilians. The deployment will consist of a guided missile cruiser and an anti-submarine warfare ship which will join up with the Russian fleet already there. In June of this year, Pravda News Agency published a report titled Russia to Create Mediterranean Fleet to Protect Syria. The report reads, During the Cold War, the Mediterranean was the most important area of strategic struggle between the West and USSR. Many years have passed, a lot has happened, but the importance of the Mediterranean Sea has remained the same. Russia, a successor of the USSR, has lost some of its influence in the region over the years. It appears, though, that the country is not going to sit on its hands watching others taking its place under the Mediterranean sun. Russian uh, President Vladimir Putin, speaking in front of the military, announced plans to restore the permanent presence of the Russian Federation fleet in the Mediterranean. Putin believes that such a move is not an act of saber-rattling. The president said that Russia had its own interest in the Mediterranean that are related to national security of the country. The region is strategically important to Russia and the country plans to deploy its warships in the Mediterranean Sea on a permanent basis. The report goes on to say, according to the press service of the Defense Ministry of Russia, the Russian Naval Task Force in the Mediterranean will include about 10 ships of various classes of the North, Baltic, and Black Sea fleets on a rotational basis. Depending on the task, the number of warships in the compound can be increased. President Vladimir Putin has said the naval presence is needed to protect national security interests and is not a threat to any nation. Meanwhile, it's being reported that the French are sending the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle to the Mediterranean off the coast of Syria to join up with ships from U.S. and British fleets already in the area. The British also have military aircraft stationed at a base in Cyprus, which is approximately 100 miles from Syria. In addition, the U.S. has two aircraft carriers in or near the Arabian Sea. The British Attorney General has come up with a way to participate in an attack on Syria without waiting for a United Nations Security Council resolution which would likely be blocked by Russia and China, who are both permanent members of the UN. According to the legal document, the legal basis for military action would be humanitarian intervention. The aim is to relieve humanitarian suffering by, de by deterring or disrupting the future use of chemical weapons. It was further stated that the UK is seeking a United Nations resolution that would authorize member states, among other things, to take all necessary measures to protect civilians in Syria from the use of chemical weapons and to prevent any further use of Syrian stockpile of chemical weapons. If action in the Security Council is blocked, the United Kingdom would still be permitted under international law to take exceptional measures in order to alleviate the scale of the overwhelming humanitarian catastrophe in Syria by deterring and disrupting the further use of chemical weapons by the Syrian regime. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad said on Thursday that Syria would defend itself against any aggression following reports that the United States and its allies were preparing military action in response to an alleged chemical weapons attack. The threats of direct aggression against Syria will only increase our commitment to our deep-rooted principles and the independent will of our people. Syria will defend itself in the face of any aggression, state television quoted Assad as telling a delegation of Yemeni politicians, according to the Jerusalem Post. Friends, tensions are increasing at a rapid pace and it appears that an attack is imminent in the not-too-distant future. 
if the U.S. does go ahead with a strike on Syria, the conflict could well escalate into World War III. Are you saved? Follow the link in the box below and pray the prayer of salvation with a sincere heart and you will be saved. May God bless you.